Good morning, afternoon, evening. Well, welcome back to Bauer Beauty or welcome to Bauer Beauty. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Jenny Bauer. I'm the founder of a skincare company called Bauer Beauty. On this channel, I talk about beauty and skincare, cosmetics, and everything kind of in mind, body, spirit, wellness. And sometimes I do day in the lives and vlogs and things like that. Join the fam, subscribe now. We are doing Vlogmas right now. I have a treat, I promise. It's right here. It's the cutest thing ever, actually. And then I also have poinsettias back here. I'm in my minimalist era, so uh, I do actually have like a ton of cute decor and whatnot that all is in my storage unit in the north and I'm in the south. So that's that and it is stunning today. I swear it is so beautiful today. It's about four o'clock so the sun is beginning to set but there's like a lot of activity going on in the water. It is very busy as it is Art Basel weekend. And it is just really, really good vibes. And unfortunately, I mean, it's literally the bluest sky ever and I am so freaking tired and behind with work because I have been going to events every single day I've been doing shit. I don't normally do this much, but like I have to take advantage of all of the things going on. I'm doing Vlogmas, so I wanted to post this video for you and this is my current skincare routine. I don't wanna overcomplicate things because my skincare routine obviously contains, like I have a lot of different types of products that I'm constantly rotating between, but I'm just gonna tell you my go-to products that I've been using recently. I am really like in my, like I said, my minimalist era. I'm minimalist skincare, I'm minimalist everything. So yeah, my skincare routine has been fairly minimal. And so I'm gonna walk you through that right now. Let's start with morning skincare. I always do an oil cleanse in the morning. You, cleansing in the morning is not necessary. If you live in like a cold, dry climate, it might not be necessary. But for me, I'm oily and I live in a warm climate. So I do cleanse every single morning. With an oil cleanser, I'm currently using the Hadalabo um, cleansing oil. You can get this on Amazon for pretty cheap. I give it like a six out of 10 because it's like fragrance free and it rinses off really clean. I just don't enjoy the feeling of how it interacts with makeup on the skin. In the morning, it's a little bit better when I put it on my plain skin, my dry skin in the morning. But like for some reason, when I try to break down my makeup with it, it gets very slimy and greasy and oily and it tugs at the skin too much. And it just feels like you're lathering up your makeup versus breaking it down, even though it does rinse clean, okay? But the sensation I get, I just don't enjoy as much. That said, it is like only $14. It's on Amazon, so it's very accessible. And if you've never used an oil cleanser before, I highly recommend you get one because there is no better way to cleanse your skin in the morning than with either a creamy oil cleanser or with an oily oil cleanser or a cleansing balm. Those are all different types of cleansing oils. They are very gentle and very amazing and um, they will replenish your skin and restore your skin without stripping your skin, but get your skin very clean at the same time. And normally I'm showering in the morning, so I'm cleansing in the shower in the morning, but not always necessarily. Okay, so then lately, I don't know why my go-to has been this probiotic ceramide serum. I didn't even realize it was a probiotic serum, but it's ceramide serum. I've been using this every morning for some reason. I don't know why. Probably because my barrier serum is almost gone. It has like no pumps. It has no pumps, not even two pumps. It has like no pumps. I get really annoyed if things are not easy and pumping this and it's like not coming out of the bottle is annoying, but normally my go-to is either layering these or this directly out of the shower on damp skin. I just love doing that to just immediately trap in all the moisture, but lately, my go-to is this, the Milk Drops. Okay, and then other days if I'm feeling like more oily or I really wanna refine the look of the texture of the skin, I use the Niacinamide Serum by Bauer Beauty. This is my go-to if I want, like if, I'm, if I really feel like I just want to, if I'm feeling a little oily or if I really wanna refine the texture, I love this. And then I either follow with the Bauer Beauty Barrier Serum or the Cetaphil Daily Oil-Free Moisturizer. This is what I've been using lately because like I said, the Bauer Beauty Barrier Serum is almost gone and so it's annoying. They kind of do the same thing. They trap in moisture. This is amazing at like really hydrating and plumping the skin, but does not make you look greasy throughout the day. So I do this and then I always follow with a sunscreen. I have a ton of sunscreen, so it really just depends on what I want to do. In fact, as I was getting ready to make this video, I realized how many sunscreens I had and it was rotating between and I made a separate um, TikTok video on that. But it really just depends on my mood. The most frequently used ones like as of recently i love this one because it's just comfortable when you apply it it's very moisturizing and rich but 
It's not greasy. At first I was like, oh my god, this is like really thick and creamy, but it really absorbs into your skin and it looks completely matte and transparent and easy peasy. It does have kind of like a citrusy scent to it, but it's okay. I, I have bigger fish to fry. Um, and if I want something that is more like, you know, my foundation for the day, um, I use self tanner pretty much regularly. So this is my go-to because it, it matches my skin tone when I have self tanner on it perfectly and it looks amazing. The La Roche, if you can get the tone right, like you can mix it with the white one and kind of adjust the tone or obviously if this isn't um, necessarily work for deeper skin tones, but it will work for an array of light to medium skin tones and you can adjust the color with the, the white version of this as well by mixing them. I just don't have the white one and I just don't care because I have a couple more that kind of fit that need too. Anyways, this is amazing. It really refines the texture of the skin and makes your skin look great all day um, while providing SPF 50 mineral protection. This one is a pretty much a dupe for it. This is from Amazon. It is like maybe 15 or $20 cheaper than the La Roche and it's um, basically the same thing I think. This SkinCeuticals I also use in the same type of... These are all days when I am wearing like natural glowy makeup during the day but want like my base as sunscreen instead of like a skin tint. Really just depends on my mood. And then I have the watery sun gel which is like maybe the best sunscreen ever created and the summer Fridays that I use when I'm having like a no makeup day. The Tatcha, which I don't really use that much because, well, it's very creamy. So it sometimes is a little uncomfortable, like a little slightly greasy, but also this, the tone just doesn't match me since I'm in my self tan era as well. And then this one, the Kylie Skin or Trader Joe's, those clear type of sunscreens, that fits another type of need for me. Okay, so those are all the sunscreens I'm using. And then I wear eye sunscreen as well. I live in Florida, so I have to make sure to be very protective of my eyes. And uh, I will put my mineral sunscreens around my eyes, but often if I'm not wearing a mineral sunscreen, I still need an eye sunscreen. And that's where this comes in. So that is my morning skincare routine. It's very simple. I usually just use two to three products. Like I said, one, two, three. Okay, am I using a vitamin C right now? The answer is no, because the Bauer Beauty one, I don't have anymore. I ran out of it and I need to reorder it. And I haven't reordered it, but funny enough, I did use the SkinCeuticals uh, vitamin C today. I just don't use it because it's very aggressive and very harsh. And I prefer a more gentle vitamin C, but actually I have not been using a vitamin C. B. I really haven't been because um, I've been keeping it simple. I developed perioral dermatitis about a month ago. And so I, I kind of stopped doing a lot of things, but I did happen to use the SkinCeuticals vitamin C today, just in the perimeter of my face where my rash is not. It hasn't been like a pivotal part of my routine or something I'm swearing by. I don't care about it. Now let's move on to nighttime skincare. I always use a cleansing oil to break down my makeup and this is, I just ran out of the Biosense one. So the Hada Lava one is the only one I use. My baby is meditating. This is what he does. You want to die? I thought my baby Pomeranian would hate the heat down here, but he is obsessed with it. It's because he's enlightened. Look at him. He's just sitting out there like an abnormal, ridiculous baby. Okay. So moving on. Yes, I use the um, CeraVe Cream to Foam Hydrating Cleanser. I really should maybe experiment with my second cleanse, but this is just like my comfort zone. So I always do oil cleanser, CeraVe Cream to Foam, and then I always dry my skin not like dry it dry it, but dry it to where it's almost dry with tissue that's just what i have always done with toilet paper i just take some toilet paper and dry it down because i used to reuse my towel and i just thought eventually that was disgusting i actually never never use anything but paper towel or toilet paper to dry my face ever period also then you can see if there's any residual makeup too because you'll see it like on the white tissue. I leave it slightly damp and then I usually go in first with this really sexy medicated lotion around my mouth because I just want to make sure that this gets applied first, the medicated uh, lotion in this area. The problem is contained though. It's like I know I'm supposed to use this for eight weeks or so which I'll continue to use because I do see a little bit of irritation here and there still but I'm it's not getting worse and it's not exacerbating and this is working really well. It's metronodazole. I don't know how to say it but it is like a medicated lotion that was prescription prescribed to me from my doctor 
for perioral dermatitis. So it's made my skincare routine a little less exciting, clearly. But uh, I've discovered a new retinol that I'm kind of addicted to. It's the Retronol by Aven, point one. This one contains retinaldehyde, which is just a strong form of retinol. I just absolutely love this. I'm going to buy a full size of this because I really like retinol products because I like to switch it out from my tretinoin, which I use maybe once a week or once every two weeks, nothing crazy. But I've been using the Aven maybe three times a week. And then I put a moisturizer on top. And I got a sample of this Biologique Recherche, the collagen cream, and it's amazing and incredible and stunning. And I don't even know what's in it, but holy moly, all their products are masterpieces. So yes, I love this. But another one of my go-tos, like I, I brought all my go-tos here, but um, this is the Bloom Cream by Beekman, I love this. I don't know why this is just kind of been my go-to because I like how rich and creamy it is. And then the Bower Beauty Peptide Cream because it's extremely healing. The Dior Cica Balm and then the Road Barrier Cream. It's kind of like the ones that I go to most frequently and it really just depends on what my skin needs, what my mood is. These are all different textures. They all perform differently. They all have different water to oil balance. They all, you know, like the Barbity one is probably the lightest, the most wateriest. This one is like rich, but light and watery and creamy. This one is like, I don't know, but it's like different than all of them. And then this one's like the richest. Okay. The eye cream that I've been using is the Smooth Landing Retinol Cream, Retinol Eye Cream by Verst. It's truly amazing and incredible. It's like a very rich balm. I just love lathering it all around my eye and even on my lips. I just am obsessed with it. I wear this very frequently. It's kind of like the sum up of my skincare routine. It's like keeping it simple, but it's like, of course, I am still using some actives. I am still using retinol, but I'm not using any, am I using any acids? I haven't used acids in probably since I got diagnosed with this situation. I love how my skin looks. Like I love doing less in general. So that's that. What do I have on my skin right now? I did the SkinCeutical C for Rulic, and then I did the Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer and then the sunscreen I used was Kylie Skin sunscreen on because I thought I was gonna wear makeup. But guess what, I'm not. It's 4 p.m. I'm about to go to an event and I am not putting makeup on. Day four of being active and social every day, this is what Jenny's wearing. So that's my current skincare routine. Leave your questions below, leave your comments below. Let me know any products that I need to be incorporating or what you think if you think that I should be using any products or whatever, tell me everything. Tell me all the details and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.